All right, in this lesson for pages 13 through 15, we're still doing the quadratic equation, well, part of the quadratic equation, and we're not solving the whole way out, so this is actually a little bit easier. We're just trying to determine what kind of answers we would end up with if we were to solve the whole problem. Now, if you look at page 13, it kind of explains this scenario, but let me just talk our way through it a little bit, see if this helps. If we take just this part here that's under the radical, which is the b squared minus 4ac, if we just solve b squared minus 4ac, and you do the square root of that, if that ends up being greater than zero, okay, um, not the square root part, this part, the b squared minus 4ac, if that's greater than zero, then that means we have two real number solutions. If this whole thing becomes zero, then basically we're saying negative b plus or minus zero, which means that whole thing goes away, so we don't have a plus or minus anything because it's just zero, so we have one answer, negative b over 2a, okay? So we would have one real number solution. And then if whatever is under the radical ends up being less than zero, in other words, this part under here is a negative number, let's say negative, uh, negative nine. Say, oh, well, the answer is negative three. No, remember, negative three times negative three is positive nine. So if we have the square root of a negative number, this is actually called complex because we are going to have i in the answer. We might have, you know, something like square root of 3i. <clears throat> so the square root of a negative number becomes, square root of a negative number becomes a complex number because we have i in the solution. So there's only three possibilities. We either get two real number solutions, one real number solution, or two complex. Now, you have to solve each of these to find out what you're going to get. We're just going to take this equation here and rearrange it. So 2x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. Okay, see what I did? Brought everything to this side. So it equals 0. So that means a is 2. B is negative one, C is one. All right, now let's just take what's called the discriminant, four minus AC, and we'll solve that. So we're gonna plug in negative one squared minus four times two times C, which is one. What is negative one times negative one? Positive one, correct? Four times two is eight, eight times one is still eight, so we have one minus eight. So we get negative seven. If we had been solving this whole thing here, we would have you know, negative b or one plus or minus the square root of negative seven over four. If we solve the whole thing. All we're looking at is this part here. The very fact that we have negative seven means that my answer is gonna be square root of seven i and you see, because of the plus and minus, I have two answers. So we have two complex answers, and all we had to do was solve this part of it. We didn't really have to do the whole thing, just this part, and boom, we got a negative number. If we have a negative number, something less than zero, then we know we have two complex solutions. So really, in the, uh, on this page here, and you have, what, 12 problems to do? Um, you're just solving this part of it far enough down to see if you get a positive number, a negative number, or zero. And then, once you know that, you look over here and then you write down in bold print either two real number solutions, one real number solution, or two complex solutions. So in a way, it's like a multiple choice. You have three, only three possible answers for your final answer, although the step before it they will have solved this to get a number, and that is in the square key as well, okay? It's not really that hard. If you study the examples that they give there as well, and hopefully this explanation helps clarify it a little bit, and uh, just solve that a little bit. Choose one of these three based on the type of answer that you get.
you're just classifying it, I guess you could say, and then you're done with that section.